Welcome to St Margaret's Lothbury, here in the heart of the City of London. Today we are marking Ascension Day, and you are very welcome to this special online service. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Alleluia. Christ is risen. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said the first commandment is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour, in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that as we believe your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to have ascended into the heavens, so we in heart and mind may also ascend and with him continually dwell, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Our first reading comes from the Acts of the Apostles, the first chapter, verses 1 to 11. In the first book, Theophilus, I write about all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until the day when he was taken up to heaven, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs, appearing to them over the course of 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptised with water, 
but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up towards heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up towards heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. This is the word of the Lord. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Then he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses the prophets and the psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written, that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And see, I am sending upon you what my father promised, to stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them and was carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple, blessing God. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Often in our lives today, there is an enormous amount of noise. Noise at home, noise at work, noise as we travel. We go into shops, there's music uh, blaring away. We go to the dentist, there's music in the background. Even in our worship, we are tempted into filling the gap where God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit might be found with noise. We find it increasingly difficult to be quiet, to listen, to reflect. And I uh, fall prey to this uh, as much as anyone. I have my headphones plugged into my iPhone and I'm continually putting music or an audio book into my ears in an attempt to blot out the other noise around as I walk around or as I sit in the office or even as I sit at home where my family is instead of talking to them or listening to them or listening to colleagues. And the same is true for us in church. We don't have to make a lot of noise to feel the presence of God. And today, in our two readings, if we reflect on what we have heard, what they say will speak to us probably more powerfully than any noise or prayer or song that we might make. And we really hear three things in our Gospel today. We hear Jesus talking to his followers saying these events are happening because they fulfill the promise that God has made. So we see God and Jesus keeping their words to fulfill the scriptures, what we have uh, witnessed and what we have heard and what we have read. 
Secondly, we see Jesus opening up the hearts and minds of his followers so that they can understand what is happening. And they get to see him rise up to ascend physically into heaven. And thirdly, having shown them that what is happening fulfill God's promises, that they have personally witnessed what is happening to him. He promises that he will come again in the same way that he has ascended to bring the promise and love of the Father to every single one of us. And we are invited to share in that experience of faith and of belief. So I would invite you at some point today, if you have a few moments, just to sit with Luke chapter 24, verse 44 to the end, just a couple of paragraphs, just to sit and read it and reflect on it. Because I believe that that is the most powerful thing that we can share with you today. Amen. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We pray for the church and for the world and we thank God for his goodness. We pray for our church here at home in its mission and its work. We pray for all those who are tasked with leadership of our church. We pray for Archbishop Justin. Here in the Diocese of London, we pray for our Bishop Sarah. And we pray for our team here and ask you to pray with us for all those who work and witness here at St. Margaret's. We thank you, Father, for their ministry and for their vocation and for the love that keeps this community thriving and faithful to you. Lord, hear us. We pray for Her Majesty the Queen in this, her Platinum Jubilee year. We pray for the government. We pray for all those whose job it is to participate in the great events and public affairs of our country. We pray for all those in authority. And we pray for all those in public service. We pray for wisdom, for mercy and for justice. 
that we may be governed and administered with wisdom and compassion. Lord, hear us. We pray for all those here in our local community who live and work in this great city of London. We pray especially for those who live on our streets and in our doorways. We pray for the vulnerable and for the weak. We pray for those who through no fault of their own may find themselves in distress or disadvantage or hardship. Lord, hear us. We pray for all those who may be known to us, who need help or support, friendship, companionship. We have a, just a moment of quiet prayer for us all to think of anybody who may be in our minds or on our hearts at this time. Lord, in your mercy. We pray with St. Margaret and with the whole communion of saints that through their continual intercession we may have strength to follow their example in our own great pilgrimage of faith. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Merciful Father, Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Wherever you may be when you see this service, we all wish you from St Margaret Lothbury the peace of the Lord and that it may be always with you. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh as your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin. He lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. 
Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying, drink this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption as we offer you this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. We bring before you this bread and this cup and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we, in the company of St. Margaret and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray together with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed.
Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live in his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us so we and all your children shall be free, and the whole earth live to your praise, to praise your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. We thank you for joining us for this service and we hope that you go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Until next time, in the name of Christ. Amen. <laughs>